natural gas. Private households and industry cannot live without it. In the Netherlands, there's approximately 12,000 kilometers of underground gas pipeline, which ensure that the gas is transported to where it's needed. We have large reserves in the Netherlands, but these reserves are not inexhaustible. Therefore, it's important both now and in the future to store natural gas in large quantities. The European gas market is constantly changing and developing. The demand for flexible storage capacity is growing. Why would you store gas? Very simple, because of fluctuating demand. The demand in winter when all heaters are switched on is high. In summer the demand is of course lower. If you want to be able to cope with a flexible demand, you will need significant flexible storage capacity. But where? The answer is deep within the earth at a depth between one and two kilometers in cavities created by salt extraction. In industrial salt extraction, water is pumped through the salt strata and during this leaching process, salt caverns are created 300 meters high and 30 meters in diameter. The salt strata are hard and impermeable. That ensures that the cavities or so-called salt caverns can store large amounts of gas under high pressure. The consortium Arga EGS, consisting of Fisser & Smit Haneb from the Netherlands and PPS Pipeline Systems from Germany, designed, built and commissioned such a facility on behalf of Aneco in the German town of Apa. Gas storage was achieved using proven technology. What does it take to build a gas storage facility? The facility pipelines are connected to the Dutch gas network. When gas arrives from the Netherlands, it must first be cleaned in filters and separators. The gas then passes through a metering station where the pressure, volume, composition and temperature of the gas is recorded. To store the gas and to fill the salt cavern to the maximum, the gas must be pressurized. This is done by the compressors in the compressor building. Here the pressure is increased from 68 bars to a maximum of 200 bars. If you increase the gas pressure, the gas will become hot. For this reason, the gas is cooled in the gas coolers before it enters the caverns. The facility is built within a nature preservation area. Construction started with the two pipelines connecting the facility to both caverns. The construction of the pipelines and the completion of the caverns was executed in compliance to the environmental requirements and taking into account the breeding seasons. Both Fisser & Smith Hanab and PPS Pipeline Systems have long experience with these requirements. When there's a demand for the stored gas, the gas is released from the salt cavern and flows back into the facility where it's treated before it can be injected into the gas transportation system. The pressure of the gas has to be reduced in an expansion tank. The temperature has to be raised using water boilers. 
The gas then flows to the TEG unit where it's dried. The gas flows through the metering station and if the pressure, composition, volume and temperature meet specification, the gas can go into the gas transportation network. Of course, the facility must meet all required European and German safety standards. Several integrated security systems are installed above and below ground. The whole process is monitored and controlled using a state-of-the-art DCS system. The process is shown on screens in the control building and controlled by operators. A surrounding earth wall has been built upon which trees have been planted. This enables the buildings to be integrated into the landscape. Within a time frame of two and a half years and without any lost time incidents, Fisser and Smith Hanab and PPS pipeline systems have built a high quality gas plant with an injection capacity of 200,000 cubic meters per hour and a withdrawal capacity of 400,000 cubic meters per hour so that Dutch households are ensured they can heat their houses during the cold winter periods.